proper early doors this. Right, so it's currently quarter six in the morning. We're on our way down to Petrol Hedonism. But before we go there, we're just going to go and pick John up because he's coming man for the day. We managed to swindle some guest tickets out of Matt, so we're going to go and join him on his stand. Yeah, give him a bit, a little of bit, yeah, bit of support. And hopefully, we'll get to see some good cars while we're down there as well, which is uh, at the Brucey Bones. Yeah, and we'll be doing some fresh stuff there. Oh, yeah, it's going to be Lamborghini age. Oh, yeah. It'll be good. The weather's meant to be really nice, so we'll give us a little tour around and what's going on, what's there. Just so if you're not going, you don't get to miss out. Yeah, you have to join us up along for the ride. I'll have to some absolute monsters. Yeah. We will up at the jazz as well. Yeah. <laughs> We're an hour away from London. We've been wanting to give this Mercedes a good run out. So this is basically perfect for it. So this Mercedes is a 2017 C250D Coupe. So we've not seen it in any of our previous videos on this Mercedes. This is actually a build we did two months ago or so. So that it was a good little build to be honest. So if you've not watched it, go and check it out on the channel. Um, but she's doing good, really good. Yeah, it's doing really well driving. Like so you got 50,000 on it. It's a 2.1 diesel. It's a C250D. And honest, the guy that's a mileage. Uh, don't look at that clocks. <laughs> don't know where the mileage is that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm being grass. And we got nine gears. Nine gears it's got as well. Yeah. I never even knew it had that, mate. We've been doing 70 miles an hour. And what was we on before? 50? 45, 50 miles per gallon. Yeah, nearly 50 miles a gallon. So it's freaking sweet on the motorway, this thing. Yeah. It drives yeah. nice. It's not noisy or nothing like that. Cruise controls are bloody lovely. Nice place to be, to be honest. When it was damaged, it was the full front end, the passenger side, and the rear bumper and diffuser were all damaged. Yeah, even just, whoa, you fucking idiot. Anyway, after wagon nearly killing us. <laughs> Try that alive. one again, we're still alive, we'll start that again. And then, yeah, new door, rear bumper, rear diffuser, and we also chucked a couple of modifications on it as well, so only tasty little good looking eye catching pieces, weren't it? But it, it looks smart, it does look really, looks really good. And when we get back home, it's actually going to be for sale this. So if anyone's interested, drop us a message. Wham! Oh, do you want to go? You want to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Q5's coming as well. <laughs> do a donut, you there now. You following these? I think so. Right, so here we are, petrol hedonism. We just got in, and now we're gonna go and look at some cars and find Matt. Yeah, let's go and find High Peak Fair. Finding the Harpeak stand, we dropped our bags off and headed out to look for some cars. The bodyguard there. Which one would you pick? Out them for? I picked that, that green one. Would be my pick. Yeah, I think so. To be honest, myself. Me and Liam yeah. are on the green. Yeah. John was on the orange. To be honest, if you'd have had them rims on the yeah, blue one, yeah. I'd have picked the blue yeah, one all day, 100%. I reckon. So next up, Matt from Harpy had a quick interview on stage, so we went over to show our support. Yes, sir. Here we go. How you doing? So, in your own words, if people have no idea who you are, I know who you are, we know who you are. Yeah. Who are you and what do you do? Uh, my name's Matt and I've got a company called High Peak Autos, uh, which is a small car, used car garage, basically. Um, but also a YouTube channel called High Peak Autos. After Matt smashed his interview, next up was Yorkshire Car Restoration, who had a great interview too. A little later, we bumped into them downstairs, and they actually gave us an exclusive tour of one of their projects that they've been working on for Matt Armstrong. This is Matt Armstrong's BMW E24. So this is actually a 1989 car, 
It belongs to Matt. I Instagrammed him and said, look, we'll do your car completely free of charge, sort all the rust out. Yeah. So eight months later, it looks like an absolute majestic beast. Now this has actually been in an oven at 200 degrees, powder coated. We've got the engine bay here, we've got inside the cabin, all underneath the car and to the boot as well. It's all been powder coated. Now, obviously your outside panels have been painted, but this isn't its final form because there is gonna be a couple of modifications on this car. Um, but yeah, it came in as an absolute rock box. We've, uh, we've changed all this section down here. That's all fully hand fabricated. All this chassis rail down there are fully fabricated. This section up here and that down there. We've got the sills, we've got inside section, we've got all these um, sort of like windscreen surrounds, we've got the back windscreen surround. There's no part of this car that I haven't touched and it was a full bare metal shell, been in, a, in, a, in an oven and we've, uh, yeah, turned it into a nice white majestic. It looks like a toy, doesn't it? Is it quite on track in it? Is it yes. Or? Uh, people keep thinking it's going to be a track car, but I think it's going to be a show car. Yeah, just so, I mean, all, all inside here and underneath it should have a lot of seam sealer on, but yeah. we're not going to seam seal it because it's literally just going to be a show car. Yeah. It's going to be able to move under its own, own power. Yeah. It's going to have a little da a little dashboard in it, one seat, big engine, really wide, and it's just going to be a show car. Yeah. Yeah. So what have you got left to do on this now before you give it back? Um, so the only thing is, we've got to get the running gear back on it, so yeah. we're going to powder coat all the running gear, you know, the front and rear subframes. Yeah. We're going to get all the bushings back in, brand new bushings. Um, obviously we've got to select some wheels for it, so get some really wide wheels yeah. that come out to somewhere, somewhere here. It's going to be a wide boy then? Yeah, it's going to be a wide boy. <laughs> and then, you know these lovely arches that we've got? You've got, got, some we've got to cut the arches nice. off, yeah. Cut Have the you arches repaired off. them as well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the fronts as well. I take so, it that was an afterthought then with the wide yeah. wheels, was it? Yeah, so what, what we wanted to do was get it to as good as we could with it being stock yeah. and then modify it after that. Yeah. So we'll, um, we'll probably get, you know, a body kit that, that takes up the whole quarter <laughs> panel. It's going to have big vents on the side here. Yeah. It's going to be really yeah. wide because the body kit that Matt supplied will sort of like blend into all other mm. E24s. We don't want to do that because it's a, such a special car. Yeah. We want to do something really obscene, like, oh my God, that's that yeah. separates it from the crowd, you know? Yeah. To, to be honest, Matt always modifies everything. It yeah. doesn't do anything back to stock. It's also for sort of like my peace of mind as well, because yeah. like it, it kind of feels like my car. Yeah. yeah. You know, because I've spent so much time with this car and I've done three all nighters, three 36 hour shifts to try and get this car ready for the powder coaters. Yeah. And there was just like little tiny niggly bits and you know, all the different seams and that. Yeah. And, you know, I, I was doing so much with this car, it kind of feels like my own, but I wanted <laughs> to make it as good yeah. as I could possibly get it and then modify it afterwards. Yeah. How long so have you had it now? Uh, eight months. So You've had that for as long as we've been posting yeah. videos. Yeah, so, I mean, we've, we've done one one day's work on this a week, just about. So yeah. it's been like 40, 40 whatever, you know, weeks that we've had it. Um, no, 30, 38 weeks, I think, something like that. But then it's been, each video has been like one a day and a half's worth of work. Yeah. So then it's like 46 days worth of work. So if I if I worked on this solid from start to finish, it would be in this state in a, in a month and a half. Oh, yeah. And and because this has been in an oven, you can't put filler or fiberglass on it to cover your repairs, right? So I've actually put a repair in here and I've had to grind it down to, to as smooth as possible so you can't see it when it's been powder coated. Because yeah. you can't put filler or fiberglass like you can on here. Yeah. Yeah, because it's going in an oven at 200 degrees. So I had to be really meticulous on everything, make sure everything was perfect, make sure I followed all the body lines and everything. Yeah. And that's what takes nice. the time. Oh, Looks like you've done a good job. Yeah, it, look, it does look good. Really good. It's, it's come a long way, this car. But obviously we've got other YouTubers on board, like yeah. Colin Furs, Auto Alex, yeah, Late Break them. Show, you know, all them. It'll now be there. better when they do our car though, won't it? Yeah, easy. <laughs> half of our Vito. Half yeah, Vito. Vito, yeah. yeah. Well, I suppose Vito had stolen. Yeah. Just needs chicken. Yeah. So guys, there's a chance we may actually end up sending this Vito to Yorkshire Car Restoration to get pulled by their jig. So there's a chance you'll see these guys on the channel in the future. So the uh, the jig is sort of like a new purchase for us. Um, currently we've got Tim's 914 on there because yeah. that's like a banana at the moment. So it's been it's had <laughs> yeah. some sort of you know bad welding on it and it's yeah. sort of like bent Warped. the whole car. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be first. Is that we're that one? Get is that it? Yeah. Then. Yeah, we're just getting everyone to sign it, so it's going to be blue again. Yeah, we've just done a little one in the corner. Yeah, because yeah. we're still little, oh, we've done a little YouTubers, sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, we're just getting the YouTubers section on this side, yeah. and then everyone else yeah. can sign the rest of the car. Right, guys, so that's it from Yorkshire Car Restoration. If you enjoy watching in depth car restoration videos, go over and check the channel out, give them a like, subscribe, and let them know in the comment section that we sent you.
Next, we headed upstairs where we actually met a four times Guinness World Record holder who has broken records such as setting the land speed record for the world's fastest shed, the fastest wheelbarrow and the fastest motorized BMX. Originally it's 2.8 V6, then I was trying to get it over 100 mile an hour, so I poked a load of nitrous through it, eventually it didn't like that. Yeah. So then I put the 2.7 twin turbo, Yeah. same block as the 2.8, I spent the whole year keep mending it, so I thought I've had enough of this. Yeah. Tell you what, you must have built it well for it to, you know, withstand, yeah, yeah the winds and stuff. So that's it for petrol hedonism 2024. We had a great day, but now it's time to go home. We've just been in, filled our bellies a little bit, starving. But yeah, home time. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave us a comment, and we'll see you in the next one.